Hey, hello everybody out there on YouTube. Welcome back to Truth for Real Truth video. Audio, video, whatever. Okay, so today will be my first video actually preaching Christianity. Now, first of all, I want to define uh, the different, uh, two different viewpoints on trying, uh, on preaching, well, that kind of has to do with it, on, on Christianity, defending Christianity and preaching Christianity. People like Caban the Christian, Caban 52, Caban the Christian, same thing, um, same person, um, Mig Killer 2, um, etc. Um, uh, they defend Christianity. They are what you would call an apologist. You would, uh, it's defending Christianity, uh, more or less. Uh, now, there's... Then there's Venoping X, um, uh, Jesus Freak 777, Philo 71, The Vine Rhyme, Zikogur 88, I don't, I don't know, uh, whatever the number is, uh, I think there's a number, etc., 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 the people from Let's Talk Christ, many of them, uh, they preach Christianity, they use the Bible specifically, and, uh, you know, it's defending and preaching. Uh, they both work, but I'm more of a preacher. Um, I've tried to defend it, <coughs> I'm just... <coughs> Sorry, it's just not my style. You got to go with your style, and I'm going to be preaching today. Okay, and if you're an atheist, evolutionist that doesn't want to watch this video, actually, I would encourage you to watch this video because I want to bring people to Christ. But if you're going to start hate hating me, uh, sorry, um, but I won't I won't tolerate it. Uh, okay, John, I'm going to be using the Bible specifically on this whole list of stuff that I need to use. So, the first quote that I'm going to use is John chapter 13, verse 34. So now, uh, Jesus speaking, so now I'm giving you a new commandment, love each other, just as I loved you, you should love each other. Jesus wants us to love one another. Not that mushy gushy that kind of stuff, but really, we need to, uh, as, as you can tell, this video is about love and hate. Um, Hatred in the world is just, and especially out, out here on YouTube and the internet and, you know, Google and stuff, MySpace and Facebook and Playlist, oh my, you know, there's just so much hatred um, that people just spew out without even thinking, and it's, I've taken hate, and it, it's not fun, um, I'm sure most people have. Uh, I mean, Venom Fang X, you, know, you see how much hate he gets, uh, that's why he censors his page. Uh, not a big fan of censoring, unless it's free, unless it, or swearing, I can accept that. But, um, yeah. Uh, so, Jesus wants us to love one another, not to be hate hateful. Alright, now, next we'll go to Romans 13.10, let me get there, 13.10, There we are. Romans chapter 13, verse 10. Love does no wrong to others, so love fulfills the requirements of God's law. God's law is to love each other. We, God himself, wants us uh, to, to love one another, not to hate. Uh, it, because he says right here, love does no wrong to others. There's no wrong in it at all. Now we'll go to, there's a lot of quotes in here from 1st John, I've been reading that a lot, so let's get here. Here we are. Oh, sorry. One page over. 1st um, John, chapter 2, verse 7, did I go to the wrong page? Yeah, we're down the wrong page. Um, uh, the title is The New Commandment. Uh, it's John speaking. Chapter 2, verse 7, first John. Dear friends, I am not writing a new commandment to you, for you. Rather, it is an old one you have had from the very beginning. This old commandment, to love one another, is the same message you heard before. Yet it is also new. Jesus lived the truth of this commandment. And you are also living it. For the darkness is disappearing, and the true light is already shining. So many times in the Bible does it say to love one another. I mean, atheists claim to have this moral code, and yet, uh, you know, 
uh, that, you know, you don't have to have religion to have morality. Fine. But, you know, why are there so many atheists out here that just hate people? It is so just rude. It's awful. It's You've seen the hate that people spew out against Christians on here. It's, you know, people talking behind their back. I mean, I've been on Snickham and people make fun of people like Yoke Up, uh, Venom Fang X, of course, um, Jesus Freak 777, sort of. Not, not all the time, but still. People make fun of them because they, they're because they preach the message. And they'll probably make fun of me eventually. It, it's just, you don't realize it, but you're hating. It's, 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 you probably do realize it. It's just, if you want to have this moral code, don't be rude. There are so many atheists that can uh, be, be, not, be uh, loving, but they, I, I, I've yet to see tr the truth. I've seen nothing but arguments, even if it's, if, even if it's constructive con criticism, or all right then, um, or you know, even if you're just trying to create a debate, uh, it's just awful. Um, uh, so yeah, it's just the it's the all right. I gotta stop the video for a second, and I'll be right back. First John chapter four. Verse seven and eight. Verses seven and eight. Chap uh, title: Loving one another. From the new, this is all from the New Living Translation. Dear friends, let us continue to love one another. This is John speaking. For love comes from God. Anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love no <coughs> does not know God. For God is love. The fact is, God is love. If you can love, you know God. Now you're going to say, well, atheists can love. Does that mean they know God? True love. Not loving a girl. Well, I love you. You know, I mean, that's love, but talking about true love. Knowing how to love one another. My last one about love, then I'll go on to anger and hatred. Um, page. Um, I'm reading the page. Da -da -da. First John chapter 4, 4, verses 18 and 19. Such love has no fear, because perfect love expels all fear. If we are afraid, it is for fear of punishment, and this shows that we have not fully experienced his perfect love. We love each other because he loved us first. If you can know God, you will know love. If you love, truly, you can know God. If you can love, it will expel all fear of punishment. You will know it. Trust me. Alright, now we're going to move on to examples in the Bible of, him, of saying that we shouldn't hate. Now we'll go back all the way to Leviticus. This is going to end up being a really long video. I can see it now. Um, <laughs> you know that by now, though. <clears throat> Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Do not nurse hatred in your heart for any of your relatives. Confront people directly so you will not be held guilty for their sin. Do not hold hatred in your heart. Do not, ha do not, uh, just don't, don't have that hatred. Expel the hatred and turn it into love. Now, the last one, and then I'm going to come up with my mor mor moral and then, end the and then come to my conclusion. Sorry, I know I should probably stop the video, it's just too much work to have to start it up again. James chapter 1 verse 20. Human anger does not produce the righteousness God desires. Do not be angry with people. God doesn't, it doesn't help with God if you're angry. It doesn't. Love not hate. All right, now we're going to come to our conclusion. I'm going to use it with a verse. First John chapter two verse six: Those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. Which goes back to my first one in John thirteen thirty four, where he says Jesus loves. He says he loves you to love people as he loves you. And those who say they live in God should live their lives as Jesus did. Strive will come up short because we're not. Per no one's perfect except Him, and God. The same thing. Same person. Uh, same entity. 
Um, so uh, the, the moral here is to love, not hate. Um, it's our whole goal in life. Uh, so, all right, that was my first one. Sorry, it was a little bit um, probably long and kind of sketchy, but thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, uh, more Christian videos to come, more evolution videos to come. It's going to be a mixture. Theistic evolution, woohoo. All right, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Oh, God bless.